Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a 1970 Chevelle with a whole bunch of tasteful modifications. We're gonna go for a test drive. Before we do that, please be sure to like and subscribe below. Let me show you what a big block can do. So what we have here is a 1970 Chevelle. It's powered by a 396 big block with a very aggressive cam. All right, let's open up the hood. We do have a power disc brake SSBC conversion up front, uh, drums in the rear. You do have a vacuum assist for the brake, so when you turn that ig uh, the ignition on, it's gonna fill the vacuum up. Also, you've got some nice uh, Chevrolet valve covers there. I believe it's a Holley carburetor and it feeds it tons of fuel. Brand new alternator, brand new brake components, as I said before, and this is a former AC car, so you, if you guys wanna add vintage air, you're more than welcome to, and we can also assist with that. I think it runs around uh, 3800 bucks to get everything set up properly, uh, give or take. Brand new battery too, and then we have a tranny cooler as well. And this has a TH350 with a smaller stall converter, uh, and it's made it to a four nine inch rear end. Also, let's go to the side of it. We'll start on the passenger side this time. It's my favorite year because of the quad headlights. Got a set of brand new American Racing Torque Thrust 2s with the gunmetal finish, and it just makes this car look perfect. You can see your SSBC big brake kit, your 396 graphics, and the paint itself is a driver quality paint job. There are minor imperfections, but let me tell you something, this thing looks really, really good going down the road. These wheels are staggered, so they're 10 inches in the rear, and it has they have brand new rubber on them. No rubbing, also extended studs in case you want to put some drag radials on it. Let's go ahead and look at the quarter. I want you to come from over here and look down the side of this car and look how straight it is. Has rally, or has the stripes on it. These are painted on. Look really good. You've got your Chevelle emblem here. The bumper itself is original, and if you want to replace it, they only sell them. It's 296 bucks, just, uh, just so you know. Look underneath. You're gonna see the dual exhaust. You're gonna see your four nine inch and your three inch dual exhaust. This thing sounds unreal. I'll start it up for you in a little bit. As we walk down the driver's side, quarter looks good. Minor paint imperfections. So you can see small paint imperfections. See a small imperfection here, a little bit of chipping. Let me open up the door for you. All the glass is really nice. Door cards are nice. All this is nice. I didn't paint the screws. Big pet peeve of mine. Uh, the sills look good. And interior is very nice. You've got a slap shift B&M, so you can actually slap it through the gears, and I'm gonna show you how it, how it works. Let's go ahead and fire it off so you can hear it. Notice I'm not getting in it. Let's get back here. I don't know if you can hear that. That sounds good. Let's go for a ride. We're inside the cockpit of the 70 Chevelle right now. You can see your B&M shifter here. I think it's a slap shifter or a ripper shifter, but essentially you have to pull up to get it out of gear and then you can bring it all the way down to first, then you hit it and it goes through the gears. You have an aftermarket radio and then you have oil fill gauges, which are pretty neat. So that gives you a really good accurate description of the oil pressure and the water temperature. So it's cold right now, not even 140 degrees. We got almost 70 PSI of oil pressure. Let me show you that the wipers work. Put those away. All your lights work and the dash lights are working. See our high beams are on, I just turn them off. There's your lighter. It's definitely been used at some point. Let's go ahead and put it in gear. We'll drive it normally first. It does have a mild shift kit in it and you do feel it shift. Brakes feel really good with that vacuum assist. So I can push the brakes and it stops it evenly. Safety first, bud. You can feel that it has a little bit of a higher stall, so when you give it gas, that's how you can tell you. It doesn't pull off away, it doesn't grab immediately. Like, probably a 2000 stall. You can feel it shift firmly. Nice and smooth though, it rides evenly. I'm gonna put the window up so you can actually hear me. What we'll do is we'll test it out once we get to that corner over there. But it has tons of pep. Sounds 
so good. So we're gonna turn right here and then we'll open her up a little bit. What's cool about it is you can actually hit this down when you get to the right RPM. Now it's in first gear. I'm not gonna do it until we get traffic that's not in front of us, but watch. Really neat. You don't have to do that either. You can leave it in drive. I'm gonna stop talking because I think the car just needs to be listened to. So we're pulling up here. I'm going to turn left and we're going to try it out. Make sure there's no cars coming. You ready? I'm going to roll into it. That's awesome. It's pretty cool, huh? Runs really well. Doesn't overheat. We're at 100 in... Uh, 180 degrees right now. It'll stay constant 180, 185 and drop down. If you have any questions about this car, give us a call at 954-363-2261. I'll do one pass for the outside of the camera and I hope you guys like and subscribe. It rips off.